Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Wi-Fi Plays Crossover. Roll for initiative. We have to defend our tabletop RPG character sheet from evading pixel enemies. We've got to fight. It's a combination between match three RPG as well as action strategy tower defense, sort of. <laughs> uh, so we'll we'll have a look, shall we, and see what this is all about. Let's start uh, the intro slash tutorial. Yikes. Glad I stopped playing on my computer. That felt really weird though. How do we progress? Okay. Well, better finish working on my character sheet for tomorrow's campaign. Scratch, halfling, rogue. Hicks, this dude doing? What the heck? Like the monster came from my computer games or invading my tabletop game. I must be tripping, but I'm damn sure I'm not letting the kill of my character. I'm about to lose the HP. First, you need to match some dice to the power and, and attack. Three or more. Three or more on the type can be matched in a row and can only be... Wait there. Okay, okay. I'm just worried about my health, but I think it's... Fine. So tight can be matched in a row. You can only move a dice if it will make a match. Left click on the indicator tip. Okay. That's fine. I get you. Now left click on the indicated dice swap position and the three time match four sided dice will be added to your stock. No new dice will be filled in from the direction you move the dice. I get you. Standard match three. While you're busy matching dice, enemies can attack any part of your sheet. A segment will get redder until it is damaged. Then you'll lose stats or even a spell. You only die if your HP health is zero. Don't worry, everything but GP gold and XP experience is restored for the next battle. Okay. Now, you can afford a spell attack at the cost of two D4s. Two times four sided dice from your inventory below the dice. Okay. Left click on the highlighted spell or press on the hotkey F1 to in initiate the attack. Other spell types are beams that do repeated damage, a utility that does do no damage but apply status effects in a wide area. So this does radius of 4, does 2d4 plus 1 damage. Wow, it's pretty large. The spell deals 2d4 plus 1 damage. It rolls the d4 twice, adds the result plus 1 extra. Aim so that the enemy is within range of spell. Click on the right, click on the right mouse button. Right mouse button. Take that. Normally, you could re-attack after the spell cooldown if you had enough dice, but this new enemy is higher resistance against spells. Hover over it to let to check. That means it's magic resistant. Okay. <coughs> Let's try a weapon instead. Resistance due reduces that type of damage by a percentage. Uh, unliving take extra damage from disruptive attacks. Some enemies have special abilities such as shields or a radius that buffs nearby enemies in different ways. Yeah. We need some D6 this time. Let's drag the, the dice, which can be quicker. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I was trying to drag before. Hold the left mouse button down on the indicated dice and drag them to the left. This is also a co-op game where someone can do dice, I think, and someone can do this. That wave of damage was... Uh, that wave of damage was from matching four dice. Okay. A five match adds random status effects too. Cascades can earn extra experience gems and even healing. Kind of cool. On the character creation screen, however... Hover, sorry, over the dice... Ultras tilt. It's hard to read when they're being when I'm being attacked for some reason. Um, over the dice, ultras tooltip to learn about them. Also very handy. Where am I hovering over? Over there. <laughs> Whatever. Lose chart. Gain two hundred gold. Now left click on the indicated weapon or press the hotkey one to initiate the attack. Oh, hotkey one. If it's a projectile, anything along the path will be hit with bonus damage for a bullseye. Aim and right click on the enemy now. Hold shift to see hotkeys for weapons and spells. These make it easier to rapidly switch between attacks. On the map or when you hold time, rearrange your action slots, including items and mercs. By dragging them... 
by dragging them. This also reassigns hotkeys for spells and weapons. It's like we don't apparently we don't want to read the rules. So I don't know if we can halt time. When you halt time, rearrange your action slots, including items and things. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is this? So what do I press? Alt Shift F1 up there. So F, F's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 are spells, I guess. And then 1, 2, 3, 4 is my me melee attacks. And I don't know what these are. Can't see at the moment. Let's try an item on this new enemy. They deplete on use, but more can be brought from the merchant. Left click an indicated item. Item damage always bypasses enemy resistance, but not shields. Other items can heal, shield, buff, or restore stats. Quick bomb. Okay. Aim the damage radius of your enemy and right click that but item. Those symbols are status effects. Uh, the item made the enemy weak and vulnerable for a time. Check the settings glossary menu for more information. The imp won't break your armor as fast now. That's... Okay. Armor rating presents a percentage of damage dealt to any part of your sheet, except against armor itself. So 75% AR means you only take one quarter of the damage. Damage to armor is instead reduced by that individual piece of armor's durability stat. It's 45, armor rating 12%. Okay. To finish off this enemy, let's hire some help. Left click on the indicated mercenary. When summoned, it will cost be uh, depleted from your gold. Merc spike for a limited time. They can only be killed if enemies damage the merc section of your sheet enough. Okay. Now right click till the enemy is within the merc's attack radius. Go get them. Wicked. Well done. Those are the basics. Check the manual for more detailed information. Click on the red exit button to get cracking. Hit tab to halt time during gameplay. Okay, <coughs> let's do it guys. Stop the pixel monster invading your tabletop games. There's sci-fi and there's adventure. Adventure in Kelador, a large fantasy world with varied regions for adventuring. Mythical creatures, undead priests, and scheming bandits roam the land. Choose a campaign to play. Stop the pixel, okay. Rise of the Alum. Alarum. As a veteran courier for the Seladrian, Seladorian High Council, you're used to adventuring into dangerous lands. Something evil is rising, and you're tasked to warn every corner of Celador before the invasion begins. We we'll get to roll a character. Nemond. Nemond, let's do it. So, what are these change? We don't get an ultra. 15% weapon cooldown until the end of stage. Till the end of stage. Uh, gain 200 gold. Cause all enemies to sleep plus poison. Most popular species, of course. That's just standard. Experience modifier up. Got cooldowns, weapon cooldowns, shop higher pricing. That's the same for everyone. That's the same for everyone. The halflings have the most dice ultras. It looks like they're the same for everyone. I wonder if you can change these. Okay. What should we do? Should we go kind of fine point dagger? Are these different for everyone as well? No. Necrotic Chantrip. A quick utility trick to weaken both attack and defense of enemies. Does no damage. Poison Dark. Project other and injects a deadly toxin. That'd be good at dexterity, which could be both of these things, maybe. Oh, it's because we're a rogue. Okay. Wow, mage has no weapons. Or oh, you can have two. Um, unveiling, 
Unliving wilt under the light of pure goodness. Dice cost. 3d4s. Um, some say its owners are cursed to battle forever. Shoreline short bow. Should we just go warrior? We get no extra money. I think money could be kind of fun. We get an experience modifier down. Rogue elf. Hmm. All right, rogue elf. It is. Can we get our money? Loose change and hard stop. Cause enemies to stop. Okay, let's do this. So where's our stats? Six, nine, that. And is that different? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's fine. I think these stats are fine. Build damage minus one. Huh. If you get a lot of experience, eh? Uh, intelligence. Nightshade Runner. Let's do it! These are the enemies we're going to face. So, these ones weapon resistance. So, attack the ogres with magic. We have magic? I don't remember. And these guys with melee. As you reach the High Council's chamber for an urgent task, you spot a trail of blood leading to the Council's guards. Mutilated corpse. Fresh kill. Well, we might need to help them out. Merchant. We probably don't... We do, do we have any money? Sold out, sold out. At 62 armor rating for 13 seconds. Actually, I thought... The merchant would sell weapons. Oh, it sells armor. Do you get weapons as well? Alright, let's do this. Bonus starting delay one second. Well, that's not right, great, is it? So we gotta keep doing this stuff. What a massive side of dice. Do all right, they're coming. So no, we wanted to get um uh, this with them, which is F one. But this is just a spell; it doesn't do damage. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Oh, and then trying to hit them is pretty tricky as well. Yeah, we're going to be in trouble. Uh-oh. It's a bit more of a... Emphasis on attack getting these quickly. Can I use this to get money? Well, they've been nice on me now, are they? Give me some free time. Oh, I didn't even see you there, mate. So I can use the sleep ability if I want as well. Get them into both the crosshairs. Well, this guy's quick. There's lots of them now. Let's buy one of these night runners. Certainly. I don't know what I kind of need. I'm just pressing everything. Next wave starts in nine seconds. Okay. Like, why did everything stop?
Oh, we've started. Waste of waste of ammo and stuff, hey. I feel like it's good summoning the um henchman. That's what the money's for, I guess. I've lost my uh, rhythm now. What did this do? Oh yeah, summoning the henchmen is amazing. Can I do multiple of them? I think we're going okay-ish. Just keep throwing all these around. Get these. Can I print some, some two of them? No, just one. The boss or something here. Probably should do this spell as well. I should have tried to get them while they're all together. Okay, my little dude can stage complete. Extra bit of gold. One gem. The high council is safe for now. Those monsters snuck through their own planar gate. The council dispels the gate and asks you to send word to the far reaches of Kelador uh, of the pending invasion. Okay. okay, we do get no more weapons. So quick projector with minor damage. Demonic Yelp. That draws a minor demon for power. Damage, speed. I feel like another spell that actually does damage would be good. Can shoot the scales off a warrior in flight. Huh. Can I only accept one of these? Yes. Increase one stat. Intelligence. Nine. Build damage. Next increase at 12. Alright, we'll get some decks. Oi! You want some gear? Maybe. We got new armor. So what? Character. We got nothing in our head, arms, body. We got nothing. Swirls and twirls makes you harder to hurt. Standard gear of Frostborn Isle Storm Guard. Fine and dandy. What's this? This is for uh, nearly 500 bucks. We can get both of these. Quite a big help. Okay. Done. Is that automatically equipped? Yes. Oh, we do have some gloves. With enough movement to pickpock. Okay. Actually, does some of these hurt? Like, doesn't look like it. Like, you can wear heavy, heavy armor as a rogue. First stop is the sprawling city of... Carnahold, <coughs> capital of Selendor. As you near the mayor's mansion, you hear something scrabbling nearby. Cool. All right, let's get as many as we can right now. Do -do 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 -do. Stopped up my plan. All right, they're coming, are they? So, uh, second spell. That's a little, uh... So this, this ultimate thing can only be used once. I have no idea what I have. I'm just doing stuff. Uses a lot of mana, uh, a lot of hits. Get a mercenary in to deal with everyone. Do a couple of attacks. Oh, what if I did a, a double one? Does that pull that down? No. 
but that does. Bam! Hey, where'd you guys come from? Hey. Where's our mercenary? Certainly. Certainly. Um. Well, what the heck was that? That was my, another spell. Cool. Okay, we got a bit of time. I think. What's the red one do? I don't think we had other ultimates. Do 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 do. Oh, completely missed. Get the ranger out. Oh, I'm using a bomb or something, am I? A mistake. All right, time to s s everyone sleep. Oops, could have got a bigger one, I think, than that. All right, got some time again. Let's get a couple of dice. I feel like we've got lots of everything, so that's good. I can use this again. Whoa, guys, just slow down a sec here. Whoa. These are hard to kill. Poisoning's taking care of them? Okay. Good stuff. All right, three? I thought we got plus one last time. The mayor thanks you and feeds you well before you head on to your next destination. Um, any excuse to spread the word of her fallen goddess? Goddess adventure. One times range effect disruption. Damage seven, range seven. Seems pretty good. That's a lot of money. Throwing dart. Base better for those with good aim. Okay. Let's get this mercenary. The mercenaries seem to be doing a decent job, don't they? I'm using a lot of money. But I'm happy with the two weapons that I got, I guess. Is this like a one that will chain? Doesn't look like it. Let's get a new mercenary. You're surprised to find a beautiful naked naked river spirit reclining on a rock. I thought it was like naked river. I'm like, how does a river be naked? I get you. What is it doing here? She gazed at you curious, curiously. What did your mother tell you about a river spirit when you were a child? The river folk are friends to all. A wise man answers um, when they call. The river folk are friends to some, may spark your wit or strike you dumb. Avoid them lest you be undone. I would say they're going to tempt you into the water. Number three. You skirt around the spirit to a safer spot. Your mother always knew what she was talking about. Okay. Gates of Carnhold. Should we get a bit of intellect as well? Weapon damage. Oh, this will take away minus damage from me. Hmm. We got a strength. Increase our damage by one. What gear have you got, my friend? We need a neck piece. It's all just armor? I would, I would love this to have like 
bonuses like i don't know when you're casting uh, a weapon there's a 10 percent chance to fire it twice or something that would be cool it's all just armor rating at the moment um that might change what's this trade oh you can trade for money okay let's go the magic charm we haven't got a headpiece this is 12 that's 14 not much difference this arms yes this is five that's 12 it's a big difference we'll buy that replace can i sell or just you just replace 45 armor pretty good area damage to unliving only like these are very tricky for me to use but i could do them okay let's go there's nothing i need to do here is there okay so what do we got here nothing nothing unliving so those yeah we know that they need magic these need no these need magic these need weapons these need magic Jeez. 45% resistant to melee. So any of these bugs? Magic. Bugs, magic. The desert, uh, the desert heat makes it harder to concentrate. Your spell cooldown takes 20% longer. Okay. This gives me a little chance to see if there's any fours. I can't even see any fours. Let's go. Rolling for initiative. We give one second. That's not much time, to be honest. Feels longer than a, a one second should, though. Magic? I mean, it was magic, wasn't it? But I just smacked him with stuff anyway. Do, 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 do. There's no one around. This is probably magic. He's tough to kill. Oh yeah, it takes ages to recharge them. Let's get them. Goddess Avenger. Oh, wrong button. Do your stuff. Means we need to get our gold. For next time. Um, I'm taking a while here. You're giving me hints that don't seem to be hints. What do you mean push this this way? Um, hey, where'd you come from, mate? Wait, you can destroy it. No, you can't. I just thought you could destroy there. All right. Grab the goddess. We'll get money somehow, don't you worry. Do, 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 do. You can't destroy these, can you? Just telling you where they're going to come from. Whoa! Magic. I don't have the money to deal with you. Okay. There we go, now I do. Um. Here they come. Oh, yeah, my magic's weak though, guys. Leave my HP alone. Let's slow them all down a bit. Hectic. Um, I've got time and I'm not spending it wisely. Okay. Smack it. 
Um, what does all this do? We got lots of people. What about a firebomb? I can't do anything else. I've used everything. That'll work. Ooh, what's this thing? Oh, it's a firebomb. Didn't get much that time. Was using everything. Went crazy. You make it out of the desert and don't look back. You never did like the heat. The blade has a liquid core of scorpion venom. Alright, let's try the scorpion blade, shall we? You come upon, upon a farmer arguing with a goblin. The farmer tells the goblin his tribe can no longer live hereabouts because he needs the land for farming. The goblin says his tribe have lived here in the area for centuries. Do you take sides? Isn't there enough space for everyone? Side with the goblin, it is their ancestral land. The farmer has no right to just come and take it over. Sounds reminiscent of a lot of things in the world. Force them to work together under threat of death if they don't find a solution. Well, it depends what would happen, eh? I guess we would suck with the goblins. We... I don't even know what... We're elven race. I don't know what the goblins are like in this world. Let's side with the goblins. Barbarian Brew adds 5 weapon damage and 30% faster weapon and cooldown for 12 seconds. You force the farmer and his goblin off the land. The goblin rewards you with the tribal brew and you aid you in your battle. Okay, here's our hood. We have 500 bucks, do we? We just. Alright, we're fully geared out. I guess we'll get one of these just so we can summon someone. I don't know what these are for. Can't use them on your score sheet or anything. Scorpion Blade? Are we going to remember that Dart is now three? Oh my gosh. I want this to be one actually. I am kind of used to it though. The sleep could be good. Yeah, I feel like they could definitely do a lot more with the armor. But at the moment, it's literally just percentage off. Alright, what are these guys? Melee. Magic. Melee. Anything. Magic. Melee. Casters. Melee. Brutes magic okay it'd be kind of good just to go warrior then you don't have to worry about anything you just start swinging eh? all right let's start let's start the dice oh i could have done a way better one i just see it i do it They'll be coming soon. I didn't even look what the roll was. Concentrating on gaining stuff. Whoa. Pretty strong. We nearly got our money that we need. Oh, I could have got a massive one. I still don't know what that does yet. Oh, I haven't. I thought I swapped those spells around, but I didn't. All right, let's get the money. Um. Oh, missed him. Um, oh, magic's the wrong thing to do on them. All right, let's get a nightshade. Come down here. Oh, I have to not go on them. 
There's a lot of people attacking me. Let's slow down time a sec here. Yeah, the poison should be two, I think. Oh. Feels bad when you do that. It's weird they don't all come down. Makes sense. Uh, there's a lot on the screen. Let's get a Goddess Avenger. Leave me alone. I've got nothing. We could do a firebomb again. That's decent, actually. Poison's good, because if you, they're nearly dead, just like, that's it, they're gonna die. It's all good. Leave my weapons. Imagine if one of those got taken out. Uh, poison dart, maybe. Probably a necromancer bolt would be better. Hey, what are you guys doing down here, hey? Alright. I don't know what I need, but I'm just grabbing it all. Money would be great if I get a 40. Do you want more money? Oh, yeah, yeah, because I can do that again, which is great. Yeah, it's just smashing people with the magic is quite good as well. Oh, that one's pretty good, I think. I don't even look at all this stuff. <laughs> you deliver your crucial message to... Uh, Coroner Dukuth. Not wanting to spend another second in Crow's Claw, you're on your way again. We're just exploring the um, whole place, mate. That's big. This seems pretty damn good. How are we going to negotiate all of our stuff? I'm using weapons a lot. Let's go strength. I probably should have went a dwarf. Um, okay. Melee is good for this fight. Yeah, all melee. Perfect. 20%. As you meet up with your contact from beneath the ocean to deliver your missive, the sea beneath her erupts with splashes. Wow. We're in the ocean now, guys. This armor this is a big, big upgrade. 12 to 14. What's the point of having this? Like, there's no point. Uh, sleep any in at the end of the and it all stays in its radius. Pretty cool. Heals myself. Uh. Alright, we'll leave everything at the moment. We'll use it to summon helpers. Cool. Due to battle on the ocean surface, enemies move 20% slower, but your mercenaries cost 20% more. Well, damn it. Well, I got more money, so I guess that's fine. And this is wavering. It's good to get a, a different amount of skills that use different dice, I guess, as well. Alright, we're starting. Can't even see what else to get there. These they're hard to kill. These are going to be problematic. Let's get some more dice because we're going to need it. Can't use nearly anything. Oh, the bronze weapon. Though. Oh, yeah. I should have moved that. Forgot. Um, give me a tip. There's nothing here, guys. What the heck's the green? Did they move things around for me? All 
All right, are they on me? They're on me, they're on me. Goddess Avenger, do it. We gotta use this more. Oh, on cooldown or something. All right, Avenger, help me out. Um, I don't know what you guys can't tell is that anything that I'm doing, can you? But you can see it on the map here. I'm doing stuff. Wouldn't you die with poison? Yes. All right, I need to skedaddle here. Not skedaddle, to motor. What's that beating for? Am I about to lose something? Come on, Avenger! Get Avenging! Is she gone already? Oh gosh. Don't leave me to fight alone! Alright, we need... Oh. More money would be great. Now we've got stuff happening. I don't have the... Um, I need a purple. Give me a purple. No. Give me a night runner. Do, 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 do. Oh, I didn't get the money. Didn't get the money, guys. I was so close. Your courier command uh, comrades safely make it their way below the waves, weaving ar around the floating corpses. You head to dry land. Um, can we look at our gear? We can. That's perfect. So we got a D8, a D4, a D6, a D12. That's perfect. This scorpion blade does 1d8 minus 1. This does 2d8. It does poison them, but maybe just doing double damage would be better. Pulls forth the power of the ocean with its projectiles. 1d12 plus 1. Have we got something we're not using? 4, 6, 8, 12... Where's the 20 sided dice? We've got tons of them. Maybe we just swap this out? How does this work? Bam. But it does cost twice as much for only a little bit for double damage, I guess. Alright, let's get increased damage to our melee weapons. Your strength dex plus one HD. This is pretty good, isn't it? We get rid of like, oh, we got slumber potions already. Three damage. Three damage. 10 damage. Let's get rid of our acid, maybe. I don't know. We should be using that when we need to, eh? I can slow down time by pressing tab, maybe, or something? Is that...? Uh, 10, 12, 16. The 16 seems pretty good. The 4. Twelve is just worse. 60 durability. So that's what's good about them, I guess. Double the durability. I don't know if we're losing or not. Extra 4% reduction with the necklace. Alright, let's go. 
All right. Oh, they're not giving me anything this time. I'm just going for it. What the heck? There's trees over there. Um, bad way to move, I guess. There. Okay, let's do some stuff. I didn't even look what um, creatures I was going to hit here. Maybe a uh, magic on this guy? It takes a while to regen though, that. Alright, nearly got the money already. Be grab good to get that. Quick smart. Taking ages to kill her. Oh, she screams. That's not right. Oh, they've got little people hiding in the corner. I can't even get her. What the heck? Let's get two. They got like protection. Are they like protected against um magic? That uh, melee only or something? My, oh, is they gone? Do my mercenaries get stronger as they go along? I think not. I got nothing now. I was doing well before. All right, let's focus on this area then. We need a 20-sided dice thing. Is he poisoned? Okay, so they're immune sometimes. Why isn't the other? Oh, I pressed the wrong button, guys. That was not what I wanted to do. All right, all right, everyone. We need help. Oh, we lost a health. Okay. All right, now we got it going. We got the animation we need to continue the fight. Um, we've lost it. Oh, that was a big one that we missed. Oh, there's tons of people down here. Get some help! Where's my big bronze axe? Who is down here being mean to me? Okay. <laughs> Alright, not bad, not bad. Is there like meta progression with those gems? Probably. The visible danger is gone, but it's what you can see. I keep missing this story. Uh, but it's what you can't see that should worry you in the wild, wild haven. You're, you pin your message to a tree. Clear up a delivery signal for the nearest warden to see and get out fast. That's a lot of money. Um, 1d20, here we go. But then we have to swap out a, mag um, a whip, uh, whatever it is. But that should be lots of damage. Cooldown's decently long. This poison dart, is that any good anymore? Maybe. This demonic yelp is d6 as well. It's the only thing I'm going to use. Alright, let's swap out the dart for this. I've gone full strength mode. You spot an unusual insect buzzing around. Usually uh, in that it is a larger than orc. It's so dainty. This could harm civilians if not removed. How will you handle it? Anyone? Well, it's, it flies. 
Lure it away. We're going to get hurt. Minus 100 gold. You shoot the insect beast to an area you thought was safe, but it promptly slaughtered a roaming flock of li livestock and flies away. Shepard is irate and demands recompensation. Fine. Take the money. We'll be okay. All right. What do we got? Okay. I'll read. You return to the High Council with news of your success, but are greeted by the sound of clashing swords and sizzling spells. The council is under assault again. Can't they protect themselves? Oh, here we go. There is some extra stuff. All right, we'll take extra strength. Amulet is less than what we've got. That's worse. Okay. Sacred Soul, massive recurring area damage to unliving only. I don't even know what we're fighting. Are these unliving? It's pretty much all of it. This will get us out of a bind. I'm not going to use them. I'm just going crazy. But I can halt time. I want to do that instead. I probably should be using them more. Okay. Um, it's slow. It's slow, guys. Where's all my stuff? I can't see too much. Alright, alright. I will just use... We'll just use the goddess to help us out. So where's my massive bronze uh, war axe? That's this one. I can't even do much. Help me out! Take them! Take them down! I don't see much. Here. I'm panicking. Where is it all? Uh-oh. Can I use something to rearrange these? That would be cool. Oh, yeah, I see there. Um... Let's get it going. Is there anyone else like slowly take me out and I'm not even noticing? Oh jeez. Alright, bring out a goddess. Not a problem, not a problem, not a problem. Alright, this should be enough for everything we need. Sneaky. Where's that unholy bomb? Are they like smart and don't go into it? Or is that they just walk wherever they want?
Uh oh. Ooh. The heartbeat's going. Missed a big one there. Oh, that's it probably. No. Um Oh, use that quick. More money. Sneaky. Oh, that's annoying. It's so quick. Oh, a bigger one. Oh, it'd be good if we had the purples to do a big... I guess you could be sneaky and not worry too much and go crazy with your uh, stuff to get more money. Because that'll be it. Interesting. Plus three. The High Council is safe once again, thanks to your timely intervention. Swing the tide of battle. Now they can turn their full attention back to exploring the source of this calendar wide incursion. Campaign complete. There we go. Your task complete. You're right off into the next adventure. Tundra is safe under the High Council's hands for now. There we go, guys. There is crossover role for initiative. Pretty fun. And you go different, different ways with your characters and stuff. And it's got local co-op, which is kind of cool. Move hand, select and drag. I don't know how, I guess local just means on the same computer, or maybe you can be with two computers in the same household, but I don't think it's online co-op. Oh no, there is online co-op, never mind. So I got everything, it's right in front of my face. So that could be pretty fun, where someone's doing the, uh, the, the dice, and the other person's doing their sheet. Which you could get a lot better, because then you could really focus on what you're doing, and what you kind of dice you need. You're like, I need D12s, okay I'll try and find them, and stuff like that, that'd be kind of cool. But a lot of fun. There we go, guys. I've been meaning to cover it for a while. The guy's like, "Have you? are you going to cover it? I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. So there we go. Pretty cool. If you want to grab it yourself, jump over and do it. Uh, I like the video to help the developer and myself be found. And subscribe for more videos like this and others in the future. Thanks, guys. Wipe back and out.